I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Please forgive me and let me explain. This is a non-paid, full spoiler review for The Hunger Games The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. If you don't know what The Hunger Games is, I'm going to recommend going to another video or maybe Googling because there's too much for me to explain to cram everything into a three minute video. So here's what happens in The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes specifically. So about 65 years before Katniss, President Snow was a young man. He goes to this fancy school and he's having to compete with everybody to get like the top 10% so that he can get a scholarship to go to college. And Peter Dinklage decided that this is going to be the year that the top 10% has to fight each other as mentors for the Hunger Games in order to get the damn scholarship. Because Peter Dinklage created the games, sort of. <laughs> Technically he did, but he was drunk, so the entire concept of the Hunger Games came from a damn drunken stupor. And he wasn't even going to go forward with it, but fucking Snow's dad, who's dead now, um, stole the idea and took it to Viola Davis, who was the first head game maker. Which for me begs the question, Viola Davis is not the president, which means in order for her to implement this, she would have to go through at least the president, if not a whole slew of people. So how many of these people actually thought, oh, let's throw 10-year-olds or 12-year-olds into an arena and make them fight to the death? How many people actually thought this was a good idea? But Cornucopia gets paired with the girl from District 12. Hmm, sound familiar? She likes to sing a lot. And that's okay, because that's kind of the whole point, is that she's the songbird. But there's something in this movie particularly that bothers me. Now, I don't know if the book does this. Um, I didn't read The Ballad of Songbirds. She says that she's Covey, which travels from, I guess, district to district singing and stuff. Except going between districts is supposed to be banned. And when someone points out, oh, you're from District 12, but you're all colorful, she's like, yeah, the Covey people like to wear colors. You know, I would assume that the people from District 12 don't all just choose to wear gray. I'm assuming between, you know, the cost of material and the upkeep of said material, because they're in the coal mining district, um, that's why it's all gray. It's not quirky, it's poverty. Which also makes me very confused, because the concept of actually being hungry doesn't seem to be a problem outside of the game itself. Because we don't have money for food, but we have money for bright blue eyeliner. You got me. And then Snow, like, cheats the whole way through the Hunger Games to keep her alive. And you're thinking, oh, he's learned humanity. He thinks this is ridiculous. No. Because throughout the movie, he is still on defensive for these games. And he's actively adding in to ways that he can work on this. And he becomes a game maker's apprentice. But when there's somebody he can theoretically put his penis in later, it becomes a problem. And you would think the movie ends when the games end, but it doesn't. There's a whole extra movie after this, an hour-long movie, and his head gets shaved, and he looks like Eminem. And then when she wants to run away and not be with him, he chases her with a gun. Set a ton.